Uh, this is the heartland of Atacama Desert, Chile. Yeah, this is real, real desert. Middle of nowhere. Uh, this morning I was in Antofagasta and I left about 10 in the morning. Right now it's about 3.30. So I guess it's been about 5 hours outside of Antofagasta. That's with bicycle. It's about... Uh, I'm about 63 kilometers outside outside of Antofagasta it is really hot right now the desert climate is so funny here in Chile during the day it's warm hot in the evening it's really cold and uh, you really have to wrap up I'm glad I brought a warm sleeping bag it keeps me really warm but the really strange and a weird weird nights it gets really cold and daytime it's very hot my arms my face my legs my skin is peeling yeah and this is the first time since many years actually because i'm usually very tolerant my body my skin very tolerant to the heat but as you know this is the southern hemisphere we have northern hemisphere where us europe canada all that but this is southern hemisphere below the um, Ecuador line. The sun is brighter. Sun is more effective. So what happens is it really, really gets you on gets your skin. You really need to use the protection. I didn't, I didn't use any protection. Of course, that's the reason I'm peeling right now. But I'm gonna let it go. See a few more days. See what happens see if it gets used to it uh, my my skin stays the same or if it gets red then I'll make the decision about protection but looking around <laughs> middle of nowhere just sand 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 and hills these hills about At Atacama Desert is it, it, it's been hilly all around uh, I've been coming on a very very hard road for bicycle that is that it, it has been so many years that I've been on a road on a conditions uh, this extreme you could be the best bicyclist and best in condition doesn't matter it's gonna get you because you keep going on up on the hills up on the hills and the weather is so hot it really gets you I lost about five six kilos of my weight I would say about yeah 12 13 pounds already uh, due to the heat and the hills, no matter how much you eat, you can hold it because of the conditions that you're in. You're losing a lot of calories every day, and that is going to happen. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I'll gain it back. I have no complaints because I love food. I still eat. I've been eating lots of fruit, lots of veggies, some steak dinner. Of course, when I get to Argentina after Chile, uh, that's where all you can eat uh, steaks like four dollars or three dollars, some ridiculous amount, uh, because of the beef there is so much. It's same as is in Brazil, they they are like number two and number three uh, meat sellers in the world, uh, Brazil and Argentina. Uh, so it's so cheap when you order steak in there. I can't. I can't wait to get there after Chile. But of course now on the road to Santiago. I'm on, on my way to Santiago now. About 1300 uh, kilometers from here. 1300, 1400 kilometers from here. Uh, yeah, almost about 1000 miles. Almost, not, not quite. I would say about 850 miles. Um, of course, Atacama Desert will land in 400, uh, 500 more kilometers, I believe, maybe less. Um, then we have a beautiful seashore coming up. I have heard some of the Chileans recommended me some of the spots. I cannot wait to get there after Atacama Desert. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, now I'm enjoying the scene. That's, uh, Enjoying the scene you know, to the sand and the, the peacefulness of this Atacama Desert. Oh, by the way, nighttime there are fox 
Yes, wild cats running around in this desert. And you could see their eyes green, flashing, green color in, in the dark. And uh, the other night I was riding my bicycle late, about two in the morning. As I rode till three in the morning, I wanted to gain some more time. And uh, yeah, up to five, six of them were just standing around. They, they won't do anything to you unless you go on them. But uh, they were weird, really strange looking. Um, they look like a dog, but they're cat. They're wild cats, fox. I, I don't know what they are, but they, they were weird. And then, and then I, I did some research and yes, Atacama Desert uh, does have them. Beside them, uh, you have many other creatures, many other animals that, that, I, that I keep an eye on them, really. <laughs> anyway, yeah, another thing was uh, water and food. Some spots you have to travel 180, 190 kilometers to find water or food because of the northern Chile's population. They have hardly any population in this area. Therefore, they really don't care. They, they, they don't have the facilities to support many travelers who's passing through. And uh, they don't have restrooms, they don't have restaurants, they don't have gas stations like they do maybe every 200 kilometers. And this is ridiculous because when you're on a bicycle, you'll have to travel all day, all night to get somewhere with food. This is, this is the reason now I learn. I keep about three days, four days worth of food on my bicycle and about seven, eight bottles of water. That's the only thing I can do because I'm already loaded on this bike. My bags are full, my backpack is full. So where are you gonna keep it? Where are you gonna keep all this thing? So I make an extra room. Yeah, it's not easy. Water though, you need lots of water because it is desert climbing during the day. You're being drained because your body is keep working. You're pedaling, pedaling, pedaling. You're sweating, you're sweating, you're sweating. And you need water, lots of water, because you're losing a lot of water. <clears throat> so, so I always keep about eight, eight, nine bottles of water in my bags. I have to. Anyway, I'll get back to you guys uh, in a couple hours because there's supposed to be some interesting spots coming up. Uh, this is the heartland of Atacama Desert, middle of nowhere. <laughs> okay.